This video captures one of the early protests against the Syrian regime in 2011. <laughs> In 2011, the pro-democracy protests in Syria briefly looked like another domino effect of the Arab Spring. But since then, many things have changed. The Syrian regime, unlike others, survived. And a bloody war unfolded. The Syrian civil war continued for years and saw the rise and fall of terrorist groups like Daesh and the killing of tens of thousands of civilians. The Syrian regime used deadly chemical weapons and used starvation as a war strategy, besieging cities and towns for months. In the early years of the uprising, the regime looked weaker than ever. But foreign support to Assad helped his regime survive critical moments and regain control of large swaths of the country, crushing dissent and leading to mass exodus and unprecedented humanitarian crises. So, what's the reality of Syrians today? Ten years on, the Syria of today is very different. These satellite images show the extent of destruction and the toll the conflict has taken on Syrian towns and cities. Entire neighborhoods look like ghost towns, and thousands of buildings have been completely leveled. The war claimed the lives of about 600,000 civilians, among them thousands of children. Syria's economy was also ravaged by the conflict. The cost of the decade-long war is more than $1.2 trillion, according to children's charity World Vision. And there will be $1.4 trillion worth of additional consequences of the war through till 2035. Over the course of 10 years, Half of Syria's pre-conflict population have been forced to flee. Over 6 million people are displaced within Syria, making it the largest internally displaced population in the world. And more than 6.6 .6 million Syrians have been forced to leave the country. The vast majority of them became refugees in neighboring countries. And many Syrians ventured onto the shores of Europe, sparking the largest refugee crisis since World War II. The vast majority live in neighboring countries, such as Turkey, Lebanon, and Jordan. Turkey alone hosts the largest population of Syrian refugees at 3.7 million. The war led to an entire generation of Syrian children born in exile and refugee camps and had a devastating impact on the quality of their lives. The life expectancy of Syrian children has fallen by 13 years. Today, more than 80% of Syrian refugees are living below the poverty line. And inside Syria, the situation isn't any better. Syria's economic meltdown and currency collapse made affording basic food a luxury for many Syrians. A record 12.4 million Syrians, nearly 60% of the population, are now food insecure. In 2020, food prices were 20 times higher than pre-war prices, according to ReliefWeb. But the economic impact of COVID-19 has made the situation even worse. As of 2021, and within only a year, the food prices increased by 236%. And beyond the economic and human toll of the war, Syria, home to one of the world's oldest civilizations, has sustained irreversible loss and damage to its historic sites and antiquities. Syria has six sites on UNESCO's elite World Heritage List, and all of them have sustained damages during the war. The Syrian Society for the Protection of Antiquities said that more than 40,000 artifacts have been looted from museums and archaeological sites since the start of the war. Syrian activists and historians from all over the world have been sounding alarms over the looting of Syria's heritage, but there has been little to no accountability. Syria's capital city, Damascus, is widely considered as the oldest continuously inhabited city in the world. But today, the country and its people suffer one of the darkest chapters in their history. The impact of the war will need decades of reconstruction and billions of dollars in investments to be phased out. <laughs>